Hi there, this is Brian Cummings. I am the technical artist at Unknown Worlds Entertainment, and today I'm going to be working on a series of videos that will hopefully help explain how to export a custom model like my friend uh, Spec Ops Gorge here, and uh, to get it to work in the Spark tools like uh, the viewer, or the cinematic editor, or the map editor, or even in a custom mod. So um, let's get going. Alright, so if you are interested in using the Spark tools or even in uh, just playing the Natural Section 2 beta in its current form, uh, you can go to naturalsection2.com slash buy and click on the buy now button, enter your information, and uh, once you, your order is processed, you should receive an email with a CD key. And then we want to open up Steam and you're going to want to activate a product on Steam and agree after you've read that thoroughly, I'm sure. Uh, then enter your product code into to that and hit next. And then once you have Natural Section 2 installed and updated, you should be able to just double click Natural Section 2 and play Natural Selection 2, or in this case we're going to run not Launchpad by um, selecting play there. And this will open up Launchpad. So Launchpad is basically just a window that has just buttons for different applications that you can use. These are the, uh, these are the tools that we're talking about here. Um, the editor button here is actually the map editor. This is the same map editor that we use in-house for all of the maps. Uh, it's been actually available for the public and for quite a while now and some of the community members have been able to create some really awesome maps. I actually don't work in the map editor very much so I'm not going to be going into that today. But if you're interested, uh, you can go to the Unknown Worlds forums. We have a NS2 mapping section where uh, people who have been working on maps post updates, and you know you can ask questions there if you like. So feel free to go there. Going back to Launchpad here, uh, we also have a, a manual that helps explain how to use the editor and some guidelines, which helps explain how to set up your maps so that they uh, they work well with the Natural Selection to uh, game type. Also on the launch pad is Builder, which is something I'll be going into detail in the next video. The Cinematic Editor, which is something that I have used uh, quite a bit actually. Uh, it's the same tool that we use to create the Lurk Reveal and the Gorge Belly Slide video and the Fade Reveal and it's the same tool that I'm using for uh, further further cinematics. It uses the same rendering engine as we have in game, so for example, the Lurk Reveal and the Gorge Slide Reveal, they were both using uh, in-game animations, completely in-game animations, and it was all done with uh, you know, custom cameras and maybe a little bit of post-processing on my end. But uh, everything else was, yeah, just basically all rendered in the cinematic editor there. And uh, I will go over that in a different series because this one's going to be about actually exporting custom models. There's also you know, another Natural Selection 2 executable and uh, Dakota, which is used to open up scripts, uh, all of our Lewis scripts, which are available as well. And uh, there's a little help documentation for the scripts down there. Uh, we also have Viewer. So I'm going to open up Viewer real quick just to kind of go over some of its functionality. Uh, as you see, Viewer is a 3D model viewing program. I'm going to let's see see if I can find ignore that find a model. I'm going to have a shortcut to the Natural Selection 2 uh, directory here, uh, which is going to be in your program files, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Natural Selection 2, and then we're going to open up NS2 models, and let's go to Alien and Gorge. Uh, you can see in the Gorge folder there's a model for the model, uh, Biobomb, there is a model for the Gorge itself and for the Gorge View model. So we'll just go ahead and open up the Gorge here. Um, so yeah, to navigate in the viewer you can use left click to rotate, right click to zoom, and middle mouse button to pan around. Um, you can see it has a few of these extra windows open. 
output is not something that we need right now, so I'm going to close that. Uh, there's the animation um, window here, which you can rip off and move anywhere you want. I'm going to bring it up top or uh, just leave it here for now. And um, this will allow you to see all the animations for the gorge. For example, the idle. And see, I set it to idle, and he starts idling. You can slow it down if you want. Now he's super slow idling, and uh, this helps us check out all of the animations for models as they come in and um, make any modifications to it, or just check to see if it uh, needs any modifications. And uh, let's see, we also have like, um, let's see, taunting. That's you know one of the best. We have uh, yawning. Do the yawn. Come on, oh, we're going slow again. That's why. Yawn. Oh, so funny. Um, yeah, whole bunch of animations here, and um, we also have these post parameters, which help. Uh, sorry, these post parameters, which help uh, blend some of these animations together. So right now we have a run animation set, but he's not actually running because his move speed is is still all the way at zero, which is on the left. And we want to crank that up to full, and now he's running full speed, like half. He's actually walking. And then we can change his um, direction by changing this move yaw slider. And you can see he's like walking backwards or, or left or right. And um, so that's just some of the things that um, the viewer can do with animations. So we'll close that right now because we don't need that. And let's go into this view drop down. And we can currently it's set at lit, which is basically showing all the textures and what it would look like in game, and we're going to select albedo, which just shows the uh, blank color map, the diffuse map there. Um, you can even see what it looks like with just normal maps, or just specular maps, or gloss, or his little emissive belly glowing there. Um, you can also turn off shadows here, or turn off the ground plane here. Um, and you can see physics, and you can uh, also see, oh, we already looked at animation, we want to look at the skeleton here, you can actually see all of the bones that are making up his animation skeleton, and um, actually they're all listed here, and you can select them, and just basically, yeah, just shows all the bones, and close that. Oh, there's another one that shows attach points, and is his head attach point, which is uh, sort of where the uh, spit spawns out of uh, kind of the top of his head, but that's, that's fine. Um, we'll remove that, and well, that's pretty much all I need to show you for the viewer, so let's go ahead and close that. Alright, well that's basically all the tools on Launchpad, just a brief description of them. We'll go in, obviously into more detail uh, in a minute. Um, that's yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over for this section. And uh, in the next section, I'm going to show you how to set up Builder, uh, how to set up your mod folders for creating custom mods, uh, for, for models for your mods, and um, yeah, how to set up Launchpad to, uh, to work with that. So uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in a minute.